Hello friend, I did my schoolwork today and now I'm gonna watch another trauma movie. I was gonna watch um, a canon movie, a Golem Globus movie that uh, I had never seen before. And I thought it was included with Prime, but they wanted six bucks for a rental, which is a lot of money to rent a movie. So I just decided to watch another trauma movie again and just do another trauma review. And so I found this one. Um, Nara, oops. I forgot to grab the controller. I found this one, Nara, and now it won't focus. God damn it. I'm having one heck of a night, man. I got another stupid catfish talking to me on Instagram tonight. I hate Instagram so much. It's such a stupid website. So Nara, content in a world of isolation that feeds his imagination, Blaine lives the life of a vagabond. He crosses paths with Krista, and she discovers Blaine's darkest secret, his friend Nara. So I'm going to check this out. It's an hour, 21 minutes long, and that's a pretty good length for a movie. And... Stick around, I'll tell you what I thought. Okay, friends, so I just got done watching Nara, and uh, it was a really good, really well-made movie. It was a ghost story and a murder mystery, and it was very atmospheric and... Uh, it was, uh, it's the story of, like, this homeless guy who's living in this abandoned building, and he has a job cleaning a restaurant, and he gets paid in food, and, uh, he's kind of, he's kind of like a scrapbooker or something, I guess. That part of the movie I didn't really get a whole lot, but this movie starts out slow. It takes a while to get, like, scary, but then towards the end it's really scary and really weird, and um, I really enjoyed it. Like I say, I thought it was very well made. The acting was really good. The uh, concept of the movie was really good. And uh, I found it scary. I didn't know if it was going to be a horror movie or not. I didn't know a whole lot going into it. But, um, like this guy, he's homeless. And he's living in, a, in an abandoned building. And then one day, this couple, couple of college kids out on a date go into his abandoned building and and uh the the boy who's with the girl on the date he tries to like sexually assault his girlfriend and then um this guy Blaine the homeless guy knocks him out and then, or no, it punches him, and then the guy runs away and leaves the girl there, and, uh, you learn more and more. I don't know if you want spoilers in this review or not. It's hard for me to know if, if you knew spoilers, would you be more likely to watch this movie or not? Because it does have a really cool, interesting concept that's, like, very scary and stuff. And this guy, Blaine, he's... Well, shoot. I don't know if I should give it away or not. I guess I'll just give a spoiler warning. I'm going to give spoilers away in this movie. Stuff that I didn't know going into it. So if you have trauma now and you're going to watch it, 
definitely stop this video and watch something else. But if you want to know spoilers, then go ahead and keep watching. But basically what it is is that this guy Blaine has a severed head in, in his abandoned building. And uh, he like has conversations with it and talks to it and stuff. And then this girl that he saved from getting sexually assaulted, uh, he... Um, she like becomes friends with them and buys them food and they go out on little dates and stuff and then they both get jealous of each other the girl because she finds out about the severed head and it's like all over the radio and stuff this uh that this college girl went missing and then they find her body and she's missing her head and it turns out that Blaine has the severed head. And so then it becomes a murder mystery of who murdered the girl. And then it's so weird because, like, they become jealous of each other. The living girl and the dead girl ghost, like, start talking trash about each other and stuff and being jealous of each other really strange movie it was really scary i didn't give away the ending so you can definitely still check it out it's on troma now troma now is 4.99 a month but the first month is free it's really worth it i think you should subscribe and uh thanks so much for watching please comment please thumbs up Please subscribe, please ring the bell, please share because sharing is caring and thanks so much.